A couple of stories about John Madden real quickly. One, uh, he was doing one of our games in 88, and he drew a play on the board. So he'd come in, you know, the pregame kind of meeting, the production meetings, and he would ask you to draw a play or he would draw a play that he saw on film or something, and he'd say, all right, so we were running the no-huddle offense. And he was saying, okay, how do you call this play at the line of scrimmage? And I said, well, which one would you like me to give? He goes, what do you mean, which one? I said, well, I have to have three ways to call that play <clears throat> because we can't have redundancy if we call the play numerous times during the game. And we have four different personnel groups that we can actually run that play out of. Hmm. And he goes, all right, let's stop there. I don't want to know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know anymore. But then I, I told him something that Sal Champy, my high school coach, taught me. My high school coach was an offensive lineman at Lawrence High School, went on to play football at Purdue with Bob Greasy as his quarterback. And he taught me the offensive lineman's prayer in high school. Now, he didn't really teach it to me. He taught it to our offensive lineman. And my offensive lineman, I used to get into the shoot with them, and we used to uh, do the prayer together because I wanted them, them to know that I appreciated everything that they did for our team. Yeah. And when I told Coach Madden that offensive lineman's prayer, he loved it because he was an offensive lineman sure. himself. Yeah. And so uh, it was, you know, we work the hardest, we're known the least, but who cares for we are the reason. And that's the offensive lineman's prayer. So he loved that. I know, John, we were saying yesterday, and people don't, maybe the younger generation doesn't know, but to me, the 1970s were the golden era of the NFL. This is where the AFL and NFL merged. Yeah, right, in of course. Right after the merger and then the explosion on TV and all Everything. of that and the Super Bowl, yeah. And that's when John Madden was coaching the Oakland Raiders. Yep. And that's when they were like the Oakland Raiders. They of were course. really the Raiders. They had Ken Stabler and, you know, Hendricks and Jack Tatum and all the, all the, the you know, Blitnikoff with the stick them all over him. And, and was that, that was that team. And, and he was the personality. And, of course, Al Davis was there. And, uh, but he was claustrophobic, and he was afraid of flying. And that's why he ended up retiring at the age of 42 from being one of the most successful coaches this league has ever seen. He had over 103, over 100, he had 103 wins regular season. And if you remember back, well, you'll remember, well, maybe you won't, but you'll remember thinking back to then, you had the Cowboys with Rod, Roger Staubach, you had the Purple People Eaters. That's right, the Steelers. Right, you had the Steelers, the Steel Curtain. The Dolphins. You had the Dolphins, the undefeated Dolphins, and mm -hmm. then, of course you had John Madden, you had, yeah. and then you had Daryl LaMonica, you had uh, John Hadle, you had all these guys coming out of the AFL yeah. that, that brought that brand of football to the NFL. Well, and that's why those teams have fans all over the country because of that time. The 70s. The 70s, yeah. And I and also coincides with the great John Facenda. Oh, yeah. And his voice and NFL films and the descriptions and the way that NFL films grew into the behemoth that it is today. No, absolutely. Is a direct reflection of that era of the NFL. And to me, while I, I respect all the players that played before that, of course I do, and they played in just awful conditions, you know, that is when the NFL really exploded and took off. No, of In course. Yeah, no, if the, all those, I mean, the great Super Bowl matchups uh, with the Cowboys and the Steelers and then the, the undefeated Dolphins. I mean, there's so many great storylines there. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne Fiddleman was telling me, as he worked with John Madden very closely for all these years, uh, told me that there's very few coaches that are actually in named games like you know, the miraculous reception or whatever. The, the, immaculate, the immaculate reception. reception. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, like all these different games that John was a part of as a coach. Yeah. That the games actually have le legitimately have names to them and titles to them. Sure.